Hey Fit Fam, it's me Sydney and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I asked you guys a while ago to ask me questions on a video that I posted that was like, please watch. And I'm going to be doing two different Q&As. I'm doing a college one eventually and then a this one is going to be kind of like a life and fitness based Q&A. So if you guys are curious and you guys asked me a question that was based on that, like I will be answering that. I have my laptop right here, which if I'm looking down at my crotch, that is why. So let's just jump into this. So the first question that I got actually has three likes on it, so a few of you guys wanted me to answer this one. It says, how do you not binge eat or any advice on how to stop? I will eat healthy for a week or two and then binge eat everything bad one day and then go back to it. But I feel like that one day turns into a couple days and then I fall out of my routine and gain what I lost. How do you do it and how do you have that willpower? So for me personally, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but I did struggle with binge eating a lot and I sometimes still do. Like it's a thing that it's an eating disorder like once you have it like you have to work hard to recover from it and not continue to do it the big thing for me is the fact that like I go and work out at the gym which helps it keeps me out of the kitchen keeps me away from the dining hall in college and it keeps me from thinking about food for me personally like if I'm sitting around and I'm like bored that's when I binge eat or if I'm stressed out that's when I binge eat so what I do is I go to the gym to help keep me away from it and like de-stress me but another thing is like when you are around food what I like to do is I portion control so I don't have a whole bag of chips I don't have any of those things and I just like make sure that I put it all on a plate, tell myself no, drink a lot of water because a lot of the time you are dehydrated. I just fill up on water and usually that helps me out. I have my gallon over there otherwise I'd show you guys. But the big thing for me is like I make sure that I'm eating nutritional food so that then I don't like feel the urge to start eating unhealthy and then it'll turn into a binge. The big thing though is once you catch yourself, you have to stop. You have to like literally just put the food down, throw it out, spit it out, whatever you're doing because the big thing for me is like if I catch myself binging, I have to get rid of it. Like don't throw up obviously, but like if it's in your mouth and you're chewing it, like don't swallow it if you realize that you are doing what you don't want to do. That's my advice for you on that one. I hope that's helping. I hope a little bit. That's personally what I do because like I struggle with it all the time, girl. I feel you. The next one is, how do you motivate yourself to go to the gym and stick to it? I find myself watching a heap of fitness videos and looking at workouts on Pinterest, going to, going to the gym once, then not going back. So the big thing for me is that I created a habit and a routine. I write it in my journal. I tell myself, girl, well, not journal. It's a planner. I tell myself, hey, you're going to do this. You're going to go to the gym. And I find things that I like to do at the gym. Because personally for me, like, I'm not someone who enjoys doing cardio. But, like, I know cardio is efficient and it helps with fat loss. But I love lifting weights. Lifting weights is what sculpts your body. Like, it makes you feel really good about yourself. So I do the things that, like, I enjoy doing at the gym. And then I also do the things that I you know, no need to be done. I also create a routine and a habit. So like I feel weird not going to the gym now. And in the beginning, like it was hard to get myself to wake up. Um, I used to go at four in the morning. I don't do that anymore. I go at night, but find a time that works for you. Find a routine that works for you. Switch it up. Um, if you're going to do cardio at the gym, like personally for me, I do. I watch motivational videos. And if you guys are wondering, Eventually, I'm going to be putting out some that are perfect for cardio. So if you guys want to watch videos like that that I'm like mentioning, you can look them up right now. They're like motivational ones. But eventually, I'm going to be bringing out my own series of those. So I'm really, really excited for that. Top three male body parts. Interpret as you please. So personally for me, I am going to interpret this in the fact of like, what are the f top three male parts that I like to look at? on a guy and <laughs> Katie's here she's actually my gym buddy she's doing homework right now when I film but basically my top three favorite male body parts back butt I like a guy with like a butt I can grab on too. Yeah, so you want the junk in the front you said butt. junk in the trunk and junk in the front oh and shoulders that's four show Guys, I can't pick. I really like shoulders too though. Like I want big shoulders. So whenever I see guys with like big back and big shoulders, like that's what I aspire to have. Same with a butt because I don't have big enough glutes. Um, and then the next one is what's the most you drank in one night? Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I really don't drink because that's like not my thing. It's not legal in the States, but you know, occasionally that sometimes does happen. Not in the States though. Like when it's legal, it happens. Um, the next one is, hey Sid, how hard are you finding it to balance the college workload with doing other things such as YouTube videos, working out ETC? I have a year before I go, but I'm thinking ahead. So the big thing is you have to prioritize things that you like. The first month of college was so hard for me because I 
didn't prioritize my workouts, didn't prioritize anything besides like meeting people. And I think it's really important to meet people, but it's also important to stick to your goals. So like the first month, try to stay in a routine, but don't beat yourself up and don't, once the month is over, make sure you get in it, like, and make sure you just force yourself to go to the gym. And if you need a gym partner, like, there's so many girls that are down to do that. Like, I found one, and I usually don't have a gym partner, but, like, we work out really well together because, like, we don't do the same things, but we walk over to the gym together, sometimes finish our workouts together, like, sometimes jump in on each other's, and you'll just find people that you vibe with so then you can be social. I'm filming my video right now. She's sitting in here. Like, all you have to do is find people that are there to support you in your goals and like you guys vibe really well together like that's the big thing that's worked for me um, the college workload though is really hard um, I'm gonna be so honest with you guys I'm taking 17 credits right now and doing YouTube full-time and doing my workouts and I'm just currently like working on some other side projects that you guys are eventually gonna hear about it's really hard and sometimes I struggle but I know that at the end of the day like I'm very motivated and it's worth it Alright guys, so this comment is actually from my grandma and I'm gonna answer this just because like she's so cute Guys, so she said how do you always look so beautiful? You never look tired or unmotivated like how many classes do you have in a day? Have you joined any sororities and I love your wardrobes? That's my freaking grandma <laughs> oh, That's so cute, um, but basically uh, thanks grandma. Thanks for calling me beautiful um, honestly, I film because it's like my passion. So when I step in front of the camera and I'm talking about it, like this is my favorite thing to do. So I'm, I feel like my best parts are always shown on here. Like clearly, like I have some bad times where I like cry in front of you guys, but I feel like my, my YouTube fam is my family and you guys are like the people that I can come to when I like, I'm feeling down and feeling not so great. But then at the same time, like I feel awesome when I talk to you guys. So you guys see me like in the best way possible, but also at my worst. But you guys like brighten my day if that makes sense so the next question is from kelsey and it just says how do you stay consistent while eating and working out um personally for me consistency is like a big thing that you have to be with anything you want to achieve and personally for me like the way that i stay consistent with eating and working out is i go and find people that are gonna support me in my goals like the girl that's in here i mentioned this earlier katie is like one of my really good friends and she helps me stay consistent because she supports me look she's gonna say hi guys Hello. literally i'm so glad that i have her though because she's not into the whole like let's go out and get drunk every night type of person she does her homework she likes to work out and it just helps keep me consistent and she likes to eat healthy so like when we're you know eating ice cream at 2 a.m we think maybe we shouldn't do that and then the next day we don't do that <laughs> you know what i mean like it's just one of those things that you just have to surround yourself with people that are going to help you eat healthy and work out. Robert said, do you have any advice to up my subscribers? So to up your subscribers, the big thing is be consistent and post all of the time. I think the biggest time that I see growth on my channel is when I'm posting things that number one, they can see I love posting and talking about. And number two, I post at least three times a week. And I feel like that's helped me a lot. The next thing is from Heba. It says, I wanted to know if you've been to any college parties and if you have, could you possibly describe them? Yes, I have actually. And I just prefer not to drink at them. So if you guys are wondering, like I do not drink at college parties because two things, you can get roofied. And also I just don't drink cause like I have goals that I want to reach that require me not to drink and it's legal here. So, you know, but basically with that, like the college parties, depending on what you're going to. So they have house parties, frat parties, and then like dorm parties. Dorm parties have like 10 to 12 people in like a small little room. You just drink, take shots, like listen to music. Um, those are pretty like low key, more kickback style. House parties are crazy. They're so packed. Same with frat parties. Frat parties though, there's like a huge ratio of girls to guys. So like there's like seven girls to one guy. And so if you're there and you're like trying to like get with a guy, not not that a lot of like I feel like a lot of people go to like hook up you have to remember there's like a lot of girls there and that's the way that the, a lot of the guys like it Diana says do you plan on dyeing your hair no I actually don't but I was thinking about getting bangs and I don't know what I should do because I I feel like I would look kind of stupid with bangs so like I really don't think I should get them but like I don't know what do you guys think I I like my hair color honestly like I it's, I've grown to love it what do you guys think I should do do you guys think I should get bangs though so Justin says, how's your love life? And I have to say, guys, I'm going to get so real with you guys for a second. I have been wanting someone that I like really vibe with and like that I feel a connection with because my last boyfriend that I had, he did cheat on me. And so like, I feel like 
the way that he made me feel before he cheated on me, like after he cheated on me, like I completely, my, the way that I felt changed. But before that, like I was definitely in love with him and I feel like my love life right now is lacking because like I go on dates with people but I compare the way that he made me feel to the way that they make me feel which is like I don't feel anything you know and so like right now my love life is lacking and that's totally fine because I can focus on myself but um if anyone's single hit me up yeah I'm so desperate Katie like I'm just gonna hit up your freaking tinder <laughs> yeah hit up my tinder guys <laughs> yeah tinder just... link in the bio <laughs> Um, the next question is, how's college life at ASU? Is the party scene as big as they make it seem? And how are the dorms? So I'm at downtown campus, so that means the party scene here is a lot less, but like, when I tell you there's a party 24-7, like, there's a party 24-7. If you want to party your life away at ASU, you totally can. Personally, I don't, but there, like, anytime you want to do that, you can. The next question is, what's your go-to breakfast when rushing to class? And what's your favorite fast food restaurant? Favorite fast food restaurant would have to be In-N-Out, I think because recently I've been eating in and out protein style double double a lot recently and then my go-to breakfast when I'm rushing to class is usually like a power crunch bar or I can wait until after class and then I eat oatmeal because that's like a really easy one you just put I usually have two packets of Outfit D's Naturals uh, fluff butter in there and it tastes so good the next question is what would you tell your younger self just be yourself and the right people will come into your life because the wrong people aren't gonna be there when you really need them and so like I wish I could tell my younger self that because I think I worried a lot about like having friends that didn't really care about me or having the most friends and like you really don't need that. The next question is what is your favorite thing and what's your least favorite thing about college? My favorite thing is probably the fact that I feel like I'm finding true friends right now that are gonna last for a long time and my least favorite thing is the fact that like I I feel like I'm an adult but at the same time like I feel like I'm still a child and I feel like I'm at that like weird spot where like I live in the dorm so I don't have my own place but like I feel like I'm an adult but I'm really not so I don't know I feel like I'm just at a weird place with being in college. The next question is how far are you from home? How do you feel being away at college? Is college scary because of like debt or anything? So first things first I want to clear this up with you guys I do not have any college debt because I have so many scholarships that um, my college is paid for currently. Next semester, let's have our fingers crossed that I continue getting scholarships and I need to work hard at that because, um, yeah, I need to get that. But then I'm only like, I'm still in the same city that I've lived in all my life, so I'm not far from home. My little dog, Toasty, I don't know, anyone who's an OG knows that I have a dog named Toasty. I don't really put him in my videos because he's just like too precious to be in them. Um, <laughs> but like I can go home and see him and then how do I feel about being away at college? Honestly for a while going home felt odd. It didn't feel like it was home but Then I went this past weekend and made me miss being home But then it also made me feel really grateful that I have a private room here and that like I am blessed to be able to like even be here So the next and last question that I'm going to be answering today is do you have any classes with Elena? So actually I don't have any classes with her because I'm an exercise and wellness major and she is a um, journalism major. So with that like we're in different colleges so we don't have like any classes together but like we possibly next semester could have like an English class together or like one of the prerequisites that like we could take or an elective because my minor is media analysis so like um, I will be in the Cronkite school so like we might end up having classes together when we get more to like upper division because my minor classes are upper division and they're in Cronkite um, but right now we don't but we literally see each other around all the time we hang out all the time and she's becoming one of my really close friends and she's like super sweet with that being said I just answered all the questions that I wanted to answer for today I hope that you guys enjoyed I know that this was kind of a long video but I love getting like in depth with you guys and just talking to you guys about my life if you guys have any more questions that you guys want to ask comment them down below because next time I'm going to answer them and you guys know I like getting TMI with you guys like I talk about my love life I talk about partying drinking all those things so I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye babes